Oh boy, I'm nearly done recording my next video. I sure hope nothing bad happens and I don't get the sudden urge to rethink my entire programming style and start the whole game from scratch again. G'day mate! <laughs> First it was the Unreal Engine, then it was C++, now it's nothing but C. Assemble your fucking next. Now I know what you're probably thinking, Randall, I don't care what you use to make the game, just bloody make it. It's been two goddamn years. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm just gonna shut up and get started now. <laughs> Since we're moving into C with a data-oriented mindset, I consulted the only man that I knew that knew anything about the task at hand, Mr. Ryan Flurry. To cut a long story short, after many hours of deep philosophical discussion surrounding the nature of programming, he's kindly agreed to join in on the project and provide some back-end support for the more nuanced engine-related stuff. Ryan's been developing his engine telescope as a separate modularized code base alongside his game The Melodist for quite some time now. Luckily, our games are pretty graphically similar, so he's letting us use his core engine. This will shave a good few months off of development time and allow us to get Arcane up and running just that little bit quicker. So without further ado, I've got a new programming language, style, and engine to learn. So let's get cracking. Now to make up for lost time, I'm gonna need to implement all of these things over the next week. This will more or less put us back to the level of progress we were at in the old engine. First things first, collision. Get two shape thingies, go boop. Yes. No, bad boxes. That's the opposite of what you're supposed to do. Luckily, I'm a master programmer and I've already dealt with collision before, so this shouldn't be too difficult. Oh shit, that actually worked. So obviously we can't just have weird looking shapes flying around everywhere, so let's add some texture to these bad boys. Next up, I set out to add a bit of extravagance to the background by creating a sky gradient. Instead of going outside like a normal person though, I used Google Images to find myself a nice looking gradient. I then recreated it in game by loping between these three colors here, and there we go, we have a sky. So now that we've got a basic scene rendering, it's time to see what this bad boy telescope engine can do. I had a bit of a peek around to see what Ryan's got going on so far, and two things caught my eye. Reflective rectangle and shadows. <clears throat> Before I get too ahead of myself, I'd really like to take a step back and plan out the structure for this game. Previously in the old engine, I just went gung-ho and threw shit together in hopes of it working, but that resulted in me just reworking a ton of stuff. The rework. 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 Rework the animation system. So this time around, I'm going to be programming in a data-oriented manner as opposed to object-oriented, and I've also decided that I'm going to be using a very basic entity component system to manipulate and store that data. It's taken me a few days, but I've finally got a solid structure for the game down pat. We'll have to see if it stands the test of time, of course, but nonetheless, let's move on to some more gameplay development. We've got a beautiful new world in front of us, but no way to move around it yet, so let's get some basic player input going. I started out by implementing an action system to allow for the easy rebinding of keys. I'm going to realize that Ryan had pretty much already done this in the input module for the engine, so um, yeah, that was a bit of a waste of time. So then I used those inputs to give the player a bit of movement. <laughs> so a frantic day of bug fixing later, and the the movement is in a relatively stable state. Stable enough so we don't clip through the floor at least. Now that we've got movement, let's reciprocate that with the camera. Noise. That little guy is looking a little dead at the moment, so let's animate him, shall we? We've still got the prototype animations for the player, so it was just a matter of implementing a new animation component and then tying those individual animations together with state switching. And there we have it, he's looking a little more lively now. We're pretty much back to where we left off in the old arcane engine. All that's left to do now is slap together a nice looking main menu. Wow. So Ryan's actually got another module for user interface development, but I've got no idea how to use it, so we're just gonna leave it looking scuffed as hell for now. Our serialization. <laughs> yeah, I'm not touching that with a 10 foot pole for at least another two months, so we're just gonna chuck that on the back burner. Who needs save progress anyway? Pfft, that's dumb. Oh, I guess this means we're all caught up to an extent. <laughs> This week's been absolutely hectic, so I'm sorry this video's been cut a little short. I'm absolutely loving the new work environment though, and I think progress will come a lot quicker now that we've got a solid structure under us, so yeah, not bad for a week's work. 
Moving forward into next week, I think we'll dedicate it to getting a first iteration of combat going. So we'll chuck an enemy in the game and hopefully get the vision of hand-to-hand -hand combat fleshed out. We'll see how we go, I guess. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more of these devlogs, then I'd love to have you a part of this development journey with me. Whether that be through absolutely demolishing that subscribe button. Or if you want, you can come support me on Patreon. I'll put a link to my page down in the description of this video. So if you're interested in that, then I'd be honored. Anyways, I'd love to give a huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters for this month, which were Zach Wesley Brown, Game Dev Goose, Level Pixel Level, Zeno, Pat Allen, Nicholas John Celestin, Ben Kind, Nicholas, Erwin Van Kraspeek, and Arthur B. Thank you all so much. I really didn't expect this much support to begin with, but I uh, appreciate you all anyway. Thanks for joining in on this journey with me. The first build of the game is up on the page. Obviously, there's not much in it at the moment, but uh, that'll definitely change this month. Nonetheless, thank you to everyone who's watched this video. I'll uh, see you next week, and I hope you have an excellent day. Thank you.